What's up, everybody? You're very welcome along to this Anfield Agenda Spurs preview in association with our sponsors, Boyle Sports. As always, I want to start off this with our charity bet, ladies and gentlemen. The good folks over at Boyle Sports give us a 50 euro charity bet each week. And what happens is we ask our subscribers to pick a bet. We pick one of our subscribers. If they get the bet right, they go on the Anfield Agenda leaderboard. The money goes to charity, all the winnings from the bet as well. And that person will get a 10 euro free bet. So this week's charity bet is like so and it comes from Mark Caldwell and Mark has decided that Sadio Mane is going to score and that Liverpool are going to have the most corners against Spurs if that comes up all the profits from that 50 euro bet which I believe is a 130 euro profit after the stake will go to Pieta House which is the charity that we have decided to work with this year so if Mark Caldwell gets that one right all that money at the end of the season from all these winning bets will go to Pieta House thank you for Mark Caldwell for that one and of course thank you to our sponsors Boyle Sports if you are going to have a little flutter on the game, ladies and gentlemen, then why not use Boyle Sports? Make sure to gamble responsibly. Any offers the Boyle Sports have are always open to UK and Irish residents, age 18 plus. And if you do go over, place your first 10 quid bet with Boyle Sports. You'll get a free bet for signing up to Boyle Sports of at least a tenner, maybe even more, depending on what part of the world you're in. But look, as always, we couldn't do this without Boyle Sports. So look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about the game a little bit before I head over to the little segment I did with Leon around the game. This is going to be a difficult one. There is no manager that I least want to come up against when we're not in the greatest of form than Jose Mourinho because Mourinho is, with all due respect, a manager that knows how to get a result and how not to lose. Now, it is a bit of a free hit, I suppose, in some ways. Maybe a lot of people are writing us off ahead of this game. There were some little shoots or some little signs of positivity in the loss to Manchester United yes I know a loss to Manchester United is very hard to find any positives from but at least we broke our goal scoring duck now looking at the Spurs team the good news for us is that they had to bring on some of the players that they probably wouldn't have wanted to and gave minutes to against Wickham. Uh, Endon Belly, by the way, with an absolute belter of a goal for Spurs in that game, and he's going to be full of confidence. But they had to bring on Kane and Son as well, and their minutes that Jose Mourinho wouldn't have wanted to give those guys with the game against us coming up on Thursday. Spurs, we know, flying form. Harry Kane, Son... Bale starting to come into a little bit of form. Lucas Moura. Their attacking options are pretty impressive. They're very good on the counter-attack. And Kane has been amazing at linking up play. Uh, and making Son basically the focal point for a lot of the good work going forward this year. To me though, I think the, the signing Mourinho made in the summer that most stands out to me as one of the best pieces of business, I believe, in the summer transfer window was bringing in Hoiberg. I think that absolutely transformed Spurs midfield. Gave them a bit more bit more steel in there because as Mourinho himself said Spurs were at times just a little bit too nice what I don't want to happen in this game is for any of us again to be talking about a moment whether it be uh, a Martin Atkinson obviously dodgy awarded incident or whether it be an incident where one of our players go down or Spurs players go down like the United game I had no issues with that I want it to be decided on the pitch like it was that day and may the best team win now look without further ado I'm going to hand over to the little conversation I had with Leon from Boyle Sports earlier on and when we come back from that I'll be ready to go my predicted 11 and my score prediction as well What's up, everybody? I'm joined from Leon from Boyle Sports, and we're going to have a little look ahead to the Reds' trip to take on Spurs, a game that nobody wants at this moment in time. Or maybe I'm wrong, Leon. Maybe you quite fancy this one. Well, look, it's going to be a difficult game. We know that. It was a very difficult game at Anfield when we defeated Spurs 2-1. I thought we were the better team on the night. Maybe Spurs missed a couple of guilt-dead opportunities. Bergwijn should have scored. Maybe Harry Kane should have scored from that corner kick with a free header. But overall, I thought Liverpool played exceptionally well at Anfield that night. There were signs of a bit of, of a recovery at Old Trafford, even though we got beaten 3-2. Mo Salah scoring two goals is always a huge positive for him and the team. Bobby with a tremendous pass for the assist. He nearly had two assists when Mo was gone through on goal. So a lot of positives for me to take. Reese Williams, look, he's a young lad. Hopefully he'll learn from those couple of mistakes. Um, I think Matip should be okay to come back in against Spurs. Henderson hopefully will be all right. Probably the big decision for Jurgen Klopp is, does he keep Curtis Jones in the side? I thought he was exceptional at Old Trafford. And for me, if I go back to that game at Anfield when we beat Spurs, he was man of the match. So a couple of big decisions for Klopp to make. 
I'll tell you where my money's going on this one, Leon. It's going on a penalty because Martin Atkinson's uh, <laughs> involved in this game. So if I was to have a little sneaky flutter, I do like going on to the Boyle Sports site and seeing penalty missed or scored. And I always go for the scored option. Yeah, look, I mean, Atkinson, he does like to give a few penalties. Hopefully it comes our way. But I think on Thursday night, Mourinho is probably going to try and set up to hit us on the counter-attack. You know, that's what he does. Um, Bale scored in the FA Cup. Um, they could have scored 10. I actually watched a bit of that game. They created an awful lot of chances against Wickham. But against Liverpool, they won't be as gung-ho. They will probably sit in. Um, Mourinho's lucky that there's no fans at the stadium because I think if there was 60-odd thousand Spurs fans and Mourinho was sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, they might just start to get on him. So with no fans there, it actually suits his style of football. But I think I think both teams will score. Um, but I think Liverpool, I'm actually going to tip Liverpool to win. I think these oh, big go matches... Go on, Leon. Well played. Well, Craig, I think we actually, we play better in the big games. And if you look, even though we're six points off the top, it's our record in the big matches. We've beaten Chelsea away. We've beaten Arsenal. We've drawn with City. Uh, we've drawn with Everton away. We should have beat them. I mean, we beat Leicester at home. We drew at Man United. So we're actually unbeaten against the top six in the Premier League. So for me, this run, a lot of people are saying it's difficult. Yes, it is difficult. But Liverpool, no. We just need that first victory. We've been able to go on huge runs of winning 9, 10, 11 matches in a row. It doesn't seem to bother us. And I think if we can get this first win, which would be our first win after six games without a victory, it must be said, but we're 23 to 20 to do that. And I just mentioned Mo Salah. And with him getting two goals, the first was an absolutely exquisite finish. He's at 100 to 30 to score first. I'm going to stick with Salah. He's got a great record when he comes up against Tottenham Hotspur. And I think that record is going to continue on Thursday night. A charity bet for this week. Well, I won't tell you what it is yet. What I will say is that the gentleman involved had a good look at the stats, had a good look at the, the Opta stats and went with a bet builder. So I'll leave you in suspense. I'll, I'll let you know what that one is in due course. But yeah, you'll be happy to know we went with the bet builder as well. And didn't similar lines to yourself, but a different goal scorer maybe. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, well, look, I mean, as a Liverpool fan, none of us care who scores now. I mean, I was hoping even when... When Mane came off the bench at Old Trafford, it would have been nice to see him get on the score sheet. He was the only man to score in that barren run against West Brom and that one-all draw. So Bobby is getting there. Bobby's getting closer and closer. And although people have slated Bobby, I'm not I'm not going to be one of those because he can he can bring the two boys together. He's the bit of gel that knits it all. And I just saw in that little bit of genius when he set up Mo for the first goal, Firmino is getting back to something like we've seen him before. He set him up as well. He put Mo through one-on-one. It was a bit of a tame effort. Um, he hit it straight at the keeper. But Liverpool to win and both teams to score. That's my opinion for Thursday night. But before I let you go, just a quick score prediction, Leon. I'm going to go 2-1. 2-1 to Liverpool, a repeat of the Anfield game. Um, I do think Spurs are good enough to score. They are. They've got Son. They've got Kane. Um and I think Ndombele is a player that we're going to have to keep an eye on because he's kind of one now that's, I think he's proven himself to Mourinho. He's 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 showing glimpses of why they spent so much money on him. And he's he's a player who's starting to add goals to his games now. He scored a goal last night. It was a one-touch finish. It was really impressive how he took the goal against Wickham. He's just one of those players we're going to have to keep an eye on. But hopefully El Capitano, Jordan, will be back in the team. Matty back in the team and let's go and beat Spurs. Let's let's start a run now against one of our big rivals because the run we have, it's not going to be easy, but we're Liverpool and we're well capable of going on a big run. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard what Leon had to say. He's buzzing about the game, predicting a Liverpool win. This is my score prediction for the game. I've gone for a 2-2 draw and look... I take it right now. We want to win the game. Of course we do. But it's going to be difficult. We're travelling away to a Spurs side that won't have the fans, as Leon said, inside the stadium to get on their back if they do go a little bit negative and they sit back. But I see this being a game that will go end to end and will have some attacking play and some goals in it. I'm back at our boys to keep the goal scoring run going. We're going to hopefully have Matt tip in and I'll talk about him with predicted 11 in a second. So 2-2 is me being maybe a little bit pessimistic, but I am trying to be real 
realistic in my expectations right now as well. There's no doubt that we can't afford to lose this game. We lose this game and we're dropping further away from a tighter race if we're still in a tighter race, but certainly further away from the top four, which we can't afford to drop out of for very long. We need to have that reassurance. We need to know that we're still in the race. So look, let's have a look at my predicted 11 for the game and let me know what you think, ladies and gents. So as you can see, I've gone for Allison in goal. Trent to keep his place at right back. I know a lot of people think Trent's not in good form and there's valid arguments to be made for that. But at the end of the day, the man has the capability to deliver some amazing crosses, some amazing cross field passes, some amazing attacks down the right hand side along with Robbo on the left I can't see how bringing Nico in as an example would be any better than relying on Trent so I'm going to stick with Trent at right back Robbo at left back Matip to come back in and partner Fabinho my midfield trio now this probably wouldn't be the one that I would personally pick but I think this is what we will see the gaffer go with Hendo if he's fit and available and then Gini Wijnaldum and Thiago and to me that's a good midfield trio a midfield trio that will be ready for the battle that will be coming from Spurs uh, maybe people will say it lacks a lot of creativity but we can work on the creativity as the game goes on little tweaks little options from the bench and up front look Mane, Firmino and Salah I don't see that changing uh, we've seen that Divock Origi recently has been given an opportunity wasted it yet again Shakiri has been very bright when he's come on Curtis Jones I can absolutely understand any arguments for Curtis Jones to start as well but I think this is a game where the big boys will show up so I'm backing Mane, Firmino and Salah to keep their start in place in this one and the midfield out of Wijnaldum, Henderson and Thiago as always folks I'd love to know what you guys think about my predicted 11 and the score prediction as well 2-2 as you can see there below um, if you agree with me it's 11 to 11 to 1 with Boyle Sports for that so if you fancy a little tenor on it then let me know if you do and let me know if you have any winnings but of course we will be hosting a watch along of the game on Thursday here on Anfield Agenda a team announcement show will be up first and then I'll be live with the watch along 30 minutes before the game gets underway we'll have our post-match show coming up as well fingers crossed we could even have a phone in for this one my new computer is, is supposed to arrive tomorrow so hopefully we'll be able to get that all set up but look as always ladies and gents it's a huge game it's a game I'm very much looking forward to yes I can understand if people think I'm a little bit pessimistic in my score prediction but I'm just trying not to have stuff bite us in the ass I fully believe that we can go and get a win there but it's not going to be easy let me know your predicted 11 let me know your score predictions if you've enjoyed the video make sure you've got your notifications turned on hope to see you back very soon again thank you to our sponsors Boyle Sports but mainly thank you to you guys for the unbelievable support that you've given us lots of love from all of us here look we hope to see you for the watch along talk soon up the reds